Why do communities behave in the ways that they do? I have found that these areas themselves have a grip on people that are at times inescapable. Just watching those deemed worthy and unworthy. There's nothing more important than freedom. For 17 years, I waited for the day to see the globe. I got locked up because somebody implicated that I had something to do with it and I needed people. The rest was what happened. And by me not seeing what happened, I kind of fell into it. But it's when you begin to totally ignore or disregard anything that may upset your theory. That's when it becomes dangerous. Issues with justice and recidivism don't flow from individuals, but from a more pervasive system based on. My friends up in Coatesville weren't getting in trouble and getting policed in and school suspension, but I was. Authorities say a group of high school students carved racist and anti-Semitic symbols into pumpkins. Students also claim a dark-skinned female doll was found hanging by the neck in a locker room. And there's a lot of people out there like that. And those people get caught up. Our systems are most effective when they are controlled by Uncle Sam, Willie Lynch, and Jim Crow. They start with us from childhood, man. When I was in elementary school, we had a cop come from there. A cop telling me I better do it. I have to listen because he got a gun. He, number one, he's in an elementary school with a gun. As soon as black kids, when we get out of the danger, we kind of forget because that's how we've been programmed our whole lives. Was this by design? I saw so many people come back like a revolving door. That's, that's bad. It's the only system that succeeds in failure.